Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make efficient use of widgets and widget hierarchies in Flutter. As usual, I'll be starting with an empty template and we'll be writing two functions that return two widgets which look the same. So let's write the first function that will be widget my widget one and I'm going to return a container. Let's write container and let's give the properties. So I'll be giving color. I'm going to give colors as colors white and and the width as infinity double dot infinity and let's give some child that will be a new text I'm going to give my widget one hot reload let's add the widget and hot reload you see the widget in the UI all right let's give give some padding to the text that will be padding and let's copy the text to the child of the padding widget and let's give some padding that will be edge inserts dot all give it as say 20 and you see the padding in the UI all right and let's give make it center so that will be under the widgets the center widget and copy is and give the child you see it's centered all right let's go back and give some padding to the container that will that's a parent container and copy the whole container and give it as the child of the padding now the padding is apparent okay and let's give the padding that will be edge inserts dot all now I'm going to give it as 50 okay you see the 50 padding in the UI okay now let's write another widget that's going to do the same thing okay let's uh, call the function there in the UI and return the retain return a container that's going to do the same thing let's see how we can do the same thing differently so that will take a margin I'm going to give it as agencies dot 50 like we did previously and I give it and give a padding as 20 and give the color as colors dot white and the alignment to center alignment dot center and the child will be the text I'm going to say my widget my widget 2 okay you see the two widgets are uh, actually the same and here we have less number of lines you see there are five widgets in the previous function and we have only two widgets in the second function that's how you can efficiently write a layout that's it for today if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and hit a like as well thanks for watching bye